Everybody. My name is Michael Park. I'm a senior pastor at First United Methodist Church of Chinook, Kansas. Welcome to Ash Wednesday service. We're truly blessed to have you here online. Wherever you are, it's such a great honor and privilege and blessings to have you here. From the bottom of my heart, thank you once again for being with us and worshiping with us in spirit and in truth. Tonight, we are so grateful and blessed that we as the body of Christ gather together. We worship together in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Especially as Wednesday, we intentionally gather here to observe a holy Lent by self-examination and repentance, by prayer and fasting and self-denial, and reading and meditating on God's holy word. To make our Lenten journey begin right, we intentionally begin our repentance as a mark of our mortal nature. And also, we humbly kneel down before God to confess our sinfulness, spiritually prepare ourselves for suffering and death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our 40 days and 40 nights Lenten journey 
begins at the place where all our journeys end. Uh, the stony silence of a tomb where Jesus' body was laid to rest. We as the body of Christ, we as the children of God, begin our spiritual walk at the tomb where we truly acknowledge our dusty humanity, our sinful desire, and our broken nature as well. We humbly come uh, just the way we are before God, and we truly confess our sins before the presence of God, and make up our minds to turn away our sinfulness through confession and pardon. Tonight, we truly embrace our mortality as we think of the imposition of ashes, and also we fully expect to receive God's grace, which is God's loving kindness, forgiveness, and mercy through our Lord Jesus Christ. When we confess our sinfulness before God and confront our human mortality, the scripture reminds each one of us in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, when we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. God will truly give us His forgiving grace so that our eyes and hearts are open. We will see the heaven open and we will surely receive and experience the grace of God as we continue to walk in this journey. As we know, we are born sinners. Our natural desire is to please ourselves rather than God. As we take a look at the story of King David in Psalm chapter 51, we realize that we sometimes are like King David. The Holy Spirit truly helps us see how sinful, how broken we are. And we sometimes are like David. We feel a deep distance and broken relationship because of our sinful desires and sins as well. Here is the good news. David didn't get stuck in the consequences of his sinful desire and his broken heart. Dave confidently came to God to confess his sinfulness and a wicked heart as well. Also, he humbly asked for God's forgiveness. He was truly kneeling down before God and crying out and asking for God's mercy on him. David was asking God to wash away his iniquity, to cleanse his heart, to create in him a, a pure heart. David was crying out just like a baby. Do not cast me uh, from your presence. Would you please create a new spirit within me? Would you please not to take your Holy Spirit from me? I'm asking and I'm begging you, Lord, to restore my broken heart and fill my sinful heart with your new spirit and new desire as well. Have mercy on me. Please have mercy on me, Lord. Please restore me the joy of your salvation. Give me a willing spirit to sustain you. Help me again to lift my hands to the Lord. Help me again open my lips to praise you, God. You know what? God wants you, God wants each one of you to close to Him and to experience His forgiveness, His grace, and His renewal as you walk this spiritual journey, your spiritual way to the resurrection. I encourage each one of you to come just the way you are to God the Creator, the Redeemer, the Sustainer. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy burden, and I will give you rest. It's all right if you have a heavy heart. God will welcome you and God will love you just the way you are. It's all right if you have a broken relationship with Him or you feel tired spiritually or skeptical and cynical. Even you run away from the presence of God. It's okay. God will embrace you. And God will love you just the way you are. I can tell our God is good all the time. Our God is loving. Our God is forgiving. Our God is so merciful and compassionate. That's who God is. Number two, acknowledge your own mortality and ask for His forgiveness. Acts chapter 3 verse 19 reminds each one of us that repent and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out that the times of refreshing may come from the Lord. I, I want to ask you to do this. Just simply close your eyes and confess your sins to God tonight. You may still have a face, some earthly consequences as David did. However, here is a great news for you. God is generous in forgiveness. God is gracious and faithful. God is rich in love and mercy and compassion. When we confess our sins and ask God for His forgiveness, God never, never rejects you. 
or against you, He is ready to give you His forgiveness. Always, He will give you a second chance. Number three, remember who God is. Psalm 103, uh, verse 13 and 14. As a father has compassion on his children, so, so the Lord has compassion on those who f- fear him. For he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. I pray that as you get closer to God, you may fully open your eyes to see who God is and experience what he has done for you. He is the source of our lives. He is the source of our salvation. He is the beginning and the end. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the first and the last. God is what you need. God is what you need to hold on to as you walk this 40 days journey. Please go deeper and please go deeper in this Lenten journey to remember what He has done for you on the cross. His suffering, His death, and His resurrection as well. Number four, please remember who you are. Genesis chapter 2, verse 4 through 7. The Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground. We are formed of the dust. Remember, we are dust. To dust we shall return. Remember that we are all have sinned. We all need repentance. Remember that we need our ultimate and redeeming Savior in our journey. Even we are messy and broken and sinful, God breathed life into us. God breathed His love into us. God breathed His grace into us. God's loving action will continue to be active within us and in the world we live today. Friends, remember that in the midst of this, we're still called and claimed and forgiven and loved by God, who is our ultimate redemption of our souls. 40 days and 40 nights, we intentionally step into joining with other believers all over the world, reflecting and rethinking, learning, observing this Lent as a season of prayer and fasting and repentance, and also dive into the absolute quiet and spiritual place where we are deeply meditating on who God is and what He has done through only His begotten Son, Jesus Christ. As we walk together in this journey, be more sensitive, be more aware of the Holy Spirit. God will take you to the next level of the spirituality. The Holy Spirit will be with you in this journey, and He will help you pause and listen and pray and fast, meditate on the Word of God deeply and truly and fully when you surrender yourself before God. May God continue to bless your Lenten journey. May the Holy Spirit help you to be more like Jesus in this journey. God bless.
Amen.